Would Kay Walking Stick please come forward? Followed by Professor Bonnie Hayes, who will present her qualifications for the Honorary Doctorate of Humane Letters. Kay Walking Stick, award-winning artist, university professor, and honored alumna. You have left a mark on our nation. Major museums throughout the land and across the ocean display your creative work. You have earned prestigious fellowships and awards to pursue your vision and further your study. Paintings by you have been featured in more than 15 solo exhibitions and are shown in the country's premier museums devoted to the cultures of our first inhabitants. You have nurtured generations of students in your teaching at Cornell University, achieving the coveted status of Professor Emerita. The arts have always been a mainstay of our institution. Your achievements bring us both joy and honor. It is with pride that we award you the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. Congratulations. We are twice blessed, another wonderful person, a fabulous human being. Upon recommendation of the faculty and by the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and the Board of Trustees of Arcadia University, I now confer upon you the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters with all the privileges, rights thereto appertaining. Congratulations, Doctor. Hello, graduates. Isn't this a wonderful day? Thank you so much, President Gallagher, trustees, faculty of Arcadia University, and greetings to the graduating class of 2011. By the way, I graduated in 1959. It is astounding to return to the Glenside campus. So much has changed here, besides the name. Where did the Great Lawn go? You know, there were no dorms. When I was here in the 50s, Beaver was a small, respected, liberal arts college for women. We were called girls then. And the motto was, teaching how to live and make a living. That sounds pretty corny today, but it was very progressive for the era, actually. Beaver was a nurturing place with a strong religious component. I graduated thinking that it, I wanted it all. A home and family, a loving husband and children, and a fascinating and challenging career, just like the men had. Well, I have had that, and then some. But I don't want to tell you the story of my life in five minutes. I want to tell you a love story. In late 2007, there was a show of my paintings in New York at the June Kelly Gallery. The paintings were complex, colorful diptychs, landscapes. At the reception, I was feeling pretty frisky because I'd already sold four of the works and another was being considered by the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Very cool. Into the gallery walked my friends Elaine and Howard with Howard's friend from art school, Dirk Bach. He was staying with our mutual friends while he found his own digs. He had recently left a disastrous marriage. I thought, he's good looking, seems nice, but he didn't say much. A few weeks later, I invited the three of them to dinner at my apartment in Queens. I got all gussied up, fixed a grand dinner, starting with Prosecco and ending with raspberry panna cotta. 
Those of you who have been to Italy know all about it. Dirk was his true self at dinner, brilliant and funny. We really hit it off and started dating. I was 73 at the time. <laughs> Do 73-year-old women date? Within four months, we were living together and deeply, madly, ferociously in love. In 2009, we celebrated that love with a Cherokee blessing ceremony for all of our family and friends. The moral of this story is, God does answer prayers. She sometimes just takes her own time about it. So keep an open heart as well as an open mind. Don't get so bogged down in work that you forget to love and enjoy every day. Congratulations, graduates. <laughs>